Hi, uh, video four for the uh, Metal Z meets, um, gosh, what's it called? Dragon Ball Z meets Metal. Uh, so, Dragon Ball Z meets Metal. Um, and now we're, let's see, uh, starting in about roughly 35 seconds, it takes you up to about the minute mark. So, he's done that note up here. Da -da 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 -da. I can't remember which note. Um, no. Um, but anyway, that's where uh, video three ended, so this is video four. And he's down here at the eighth fret. And so what we got here <clears throat> is a bar on the eighth fret, top two strings, B and top E string. And a B string, E string. Then B string, tenth fret, E string. ring into each other or or not and uh, I don't think he does in which case you'd not so much have a bar but just have your finger there ready so you'd be fretting the eighth fret of the B string and not actually pressing down on the top E string <clears throat> so you can hear that's muted and then you press down bring the finger down to press down on it when it's needed so that you defining and separating the notes. And then you got that bit, so you got... Oops. And then you add that bit on 8th fret of the B string, 6th fret, 5th fret, B string, 7th fret, G string. So. similar sort of phrase here but so we've done this yeah and your fingers probably your third finger seventh fret G string <clears throat> and then first finger fifth fret B string third finger goes to seventh fret D string and then your second finger will go to the sixth fret B string so you'll be alternating picking between the B string and the D string. Yeah? So B string 5th fret, D string 7th fret, B string 6th fret, D string. And then you have the phrase of that little phrase there on the 7th fret D string. Then you got 5th fret of the E string again. Sorry, the first finger down to the third fret, B string, then, and then you've got fifth fret, G string, fourth fret, G string. So, all in all, that phrase. Okay, and then a new phrase. So, we were down here. Yeah, at the end of the other phrase, third fret, third position, as they call it, just meaning that your first finger is at the third fret. Take the first finger up to fifth fret, and then your third finger should be roughly above the seventh fret. So seventh fret D string, fifth fret G string, sixth fret B string. So you got, and then fifth fret B string, 8th fret B string, 5th fret G string. So all in all that bit is. And if you want, you can slide into that first note from the 5th fret of the D string. I can't remember if it does. Or you can just go to it. Okay, so we got that phrase and... Yeah, he slides there. So after this phrase, we're at the fifth position, up to the seventh position, and uh, first finger is at the seventh fret then. Uh, seventh fret of the G string, and then this bit is all on the G string. Seven, nine, ten, seven, nine, ten, and then 
8th fret B string with the 2nd finger, because this part is fingers 1, 3, 4, and then 8th fret B string, slide it up to 10th fret, and back to 8th fret. So. Okay, and that brings us up to the minute mark. So, um, all in all, <clears throat> that whole bit that I've just shown you is this. Um, So I just do that once more. Now, probably the bit that's going to cause you most problems is because that involves, I mean, you could do it all down picking, but try and get your alternate picking going. And then you're not even doing alternate picking on adjacent strings, you have to skip a string in between. That's quite difficult. Um, it takes accuracy. So I'm doing down stroke on the B string, up stroke on the D string. Now, you don't have to do it like that. If you find another way that works, great. I suppose you could do up stroke on the B string and down stroke on the D string. So whatever works for you. For me, down stroke on the B string, up stroke on the D string. Okay, so I hope that's alright.